Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Strong and Balanced. I'm Mikhail, and I'll be taking you through today's class. If this is your first time joining us. We ask that you speak to a physician or physical therapist to see if this class is right for you. To get started, we'll do a quick warm up. We get nice and relaxed. Keep your shoulder width apart. Gonna start with some neck rolls. Can we hear? Bring your head around in a circle. Nice and gentle. If this bothers your neck at all, you can always just kind of look side to side instead. Let's go one more and then we'll switch directions. And let's go ahead and switch. So now go the other way. And let's go one more. Very nice. Next up, take your arms out to the side. So give yourself a nice base. Be sure to apart. Keep that belly button into the pelvic tilt. Bring these arms in a circle, nice and controlled. Keep those arms straight. You can make these circles small, big, as long as you have some control over it. In three, two, one. Now go backwards. Now we'll go back. So with that pelvic tilt, you bring that belly button in, shifting the hips down. That will engage the core, protect your back. And three, two, one. Go ahead and relax. Next up, we're going to do some twisting side to side. So you bring your feet a little bit wider. Make sure you're nice and balanced with this exercise. You're going to just twist your torso going one way to the other. You can swing your arms with it. You can make them nice and relaxed so they kind of swing with you. Might be a little bit of hip movement as well. Get yourself nice and warmed up for this. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, our last one. We'll get a little bit of the lower body warm up as well. Do one of two ways. Do some side steps. You can add in some in and out movements with your arms, or you can do a small lunge behind. If you'd like, get a little bit. More out of it. You can do one or the other, so maybe that small lunge, or you can do some steps side to side as well. Do it one of two ways. You get your legs going, get your heart rate up, get you ready for this class. And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. All right. Next up, we do some. Uh, heel toe raises. So this you can do next to a wall or countertop if you want some support. All these exercises we do today, you can do next to something if you'd like a little support with um, each exercise. And to start, you go straight up on your toes and then back on your heels, all right? So when you do this, you want your nice soft knees. You don't want to lock up. Locking up will make it a little more challenging. Notice our instinct kind of tense up. You want to remain nice and loose with that, all right? And again, that pelvic tilt. So bringing this belly button in, shifting those hips down, engages the core. Both the you know, soft knees engaging the core will help with the balance. Especially with this movement, because as you're going back on your heels, very unnatural movement to do. You're not used to being back like that, so you're going to need to really engage yourself to keep yourself nice and balanced. You don't lean too far forward or back as you do it. Let's do two more. And final one. Very nice. Next up, we're going to get into our balance stance. All right, so we have one of four balance stances. You can go feet together, one foot in front of the other. You can bring heel toes so that these two feet touch, or you can go single leg. All right, so you get one of four stances. And you have your arms out to the side. You're going to look from one side, you're going to touch your nose with it and then look to the other side. All right, it's going back and forth with this. And again, this is where those soft knees will help come in handy. So will that pelvic tilt. They'll go back and forth, looking from one to the other. And three, two, one, switch legs. So any of the ones with one foot in front of the other, heel toe or single leg, you'll switch. And we'll do the same thing. So you go from one to the other, going back and forth. Again, you can do this next to something if you'd like. 
Leaning against the wall, give yourself some more support. And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Go ahead and relax. Shake that out a bit. All right. Next up, what we will be doing, we're doing some kind of like reverse, like leg lifts to back, to the back. All right. So again, you can hold on to something if you'd like or next to something. One leg will stay planted. Going to lift this leg back at a slight angle, so not straight back. It'll be kind of more like a 45 degree angle, so it's not completely sideways. Again, just a slight backwards angle. So you're bringing it straight back and in. All right. We're going to keep that one leg planted. This leg, again, nice and soft knee. You don't want to lock it up. So you want to lift this back and in. Again, if you want to hold on to something in front of you or next to you for support, if you want a little more of a challenge, you can add a slight pause knee out before you bring it back in. Let's do three more, then we'll switch sides. And final one. Very nice. Now we'll switch legs. So same thing, now other leg. So bring that slight angle back, bring it in, and repeat. All right. Just kidding. You can hold it for an extra second if you'd like more of a challenge. Or even when you bring it back in, instead of letting it touch down on the floor, you can let it hover a little bit before you reset. Or you can reset on the floor after each one. This will work the leg that's holding you up. That one you'll notice will get a little fatigued. Then also the leg is going in and out. Working your glutes on this one. Let's do three more. And final one. Very nice. All right, next up you can grab a set of dumbbells. All right, for this one, we'll add a little bit of balance portion with this. You have your feet together and have your elbows by your side doing bicep curls, all right? So elbows by your side, bringing this weight up towards your shoulders and lowering back down, all right? So these elbows stay by your side, keeping your chest up, again, that pelvic tilt and lowering down so with your feet together as you do it, all right? So normally we have a nice base with our feet about shoulder apart, but we're bringing them in a little bit, make it a little more unsteady. So you have to really focus on balance, using your core, and again, those soft knees. You're going to bring this weight up and down, nice control. You don't want to swing it up. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. Set these weights off to the side. All right, next up. We do this exercise one of two ways. So the first one, modified version, you're going to do steps side to side. So you're going to step over, land on your forefoot, and step back. All right, so making sure, again, you land on the balls of your feet. You're not landing flat, but you're really absorbing that landing. And I want your knees, very right, soft knees. So as you step, right, you have that balance, that nice athletic stance, all right? More challenging way, you can add a slight hop. So you can go from one side, again, land on that forefoot, come back, and go side to side. Same thing, land on the balls of your feet. Keep those knees nice and soft. You can do a slight hop, side to side, and you go back and forth, all right? So you can switch it up. You can do one way, do some hops, and then do a little bit less afterwards, going side to side. And again, you can use like a countertop in front of you if you'd like. So that way, say if you try the hopping, you can have that there. Or even just the side step side to side. Those are challenges within itself. Let's do 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Next up, we'll do a quick stretch. So let's do a hamstring stretch. So for this one, have one leg out straight, this toe pointed towards the ceiling. Other leg, you're going to bend it, all right? So the leg up straight, you're going to feel a stretch in the back of your leg and your hamstring. 
So you're gonna bend this leg. As you bend it, shift your hips back and start to bring your chest over that leg. You can rest your arm, your hands either on like a bed, you can rest it on something in front of you or next to you if you'd like. And you're gonna hold it in that position when you feel the stretch. Now this, on any sort of stretch, you don't wanna force it. You can let yourself ease into the stretch. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that. Very nice. Now we'll switch legs. So you keep this out straight. Same thing, shift these hips back, lean forward, and you'll have that toe pointed up. And remember to breathe. Very easy during exercise to hold your breath. You want to make sure you're breathing in and out. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that. All right, we'll do one more exercise before we move down to the floor. Next up, need a little bit of room. Do a heel toe walk. All right, so you can do this next to a wall if you'd like. So that way you have a little bit of um, support. So heel toe walk, you can start, feet a little spaced out like you're on a tightrope. You're gonna move forward. You, the closer you bring your feet, the more challenging it gets. So say you're doing this, feels a little easy, move them closer and closer together. The most challenging way is for a heel toe. So you have a heel toe. Then you're adding some head turns. You look from one shoulder over to the next, going forward and back. All right. Deal you know, with this one. If it's too challenging with heel toe, you can separate your feet out a little bit. And if you want to challenge, you can even add in some backwards walking as well if you feel up for it. If not, focus on getting the um, forward walk down, and then you can add in the backwards once you feel ready. And it also matters to remember, keep those knees nice and soft. You don't have to be completely bent, but you don't want them pin straight and engaging that core, all right? So one more down and back. And now back. Very nice. All right. I'm gonna take a quick water break and then move down to the floor, all right? So do the rest of the exercise from the floor. If you'd like, you can bring a band if you'd like. You don't need one. Uh, if you want a little more resistance, you can do either from the floor, you can do it from your bed, a mat, whatever you have that's readily available to you at home. And then we'll finish off with class and you'll be able to kick off the rest of your Thursday. We'll be back here in a minute or two and then we'll be good to go, all right? As everyone's making their way down to the floor, getting ready. Start with 
our first exercise. All right. Start on your backs for this first one. All right. This first one, you're doing some bridges, all right? If you want more of a challenge, you can add a band right above your knees. You don't need one, but if you'd like to add it, feel free. The next few exercises will be ones that you can use a band. If you put it on, feel free to keep it on and we can uh, do the next few ones with bands. So if you would like to use a band, feel free. Give everyone time if they want, so you don't have to. All right, so I'll demonstrate first. To be on your back, have your feet, they'll be probably about the same width as your hips. And you want to make sure that when you're pushing off, your weight is through your heels. So a good test is say when you're bringing your hips to back up off the floor, if you can wiggle your toes, you're in good positioning. All right. We're going to be doing bridges. All right. We're going to go for 30 seconds. On the last rep, we're going to hold it for 10 seconds in the air. All right. So we're going to go up and down for the 30 seconds. On the last one, you're going to be in the up position. We're going to hold it and then you'll be all set. All right. So again, so bridges, bring your hips up off the floor, lowering back down and repeating. Again, if you want to bend, you can add it right above your knees. Do it for 30 seconds. And here we go. So your arms by your side, raising your hips and back up off the floor and back down. Nice and controlled with this movement. Coming up and down. and bringing these hips straight up. Let's do three more, and then we're gonna hold on the last one. So now hold it in the up position. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on down. Very nice. So staying on your back, we're not gonna be doing clamshells on your back. So your feet will come together. Your legs will start together. You're going to lower them down towards the floor or your bed, raise them back up and repeat. So if you want the band, again, keep it right above your knees. You're going to lower it down, raise it up and repeat. All right, so going straight down, coming up again, back and forth, all right? And with this exercise, you can have the pelvic tilt. So that means shifting your hips down, decreasing the space between the back and the floor. That will engage the core and help protect your back. So feel free to have that pelvic tilt during this exercise, bringing this up and down. Again, nice and controlled. And you're almost there. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. Now we're going to roll onto your side. All right, to so go onto your side. Now we'll do clamshells, but on your side. All right, so you can keep that band on if you'd like. Your feet stay together. You're going to lift this top leg up off the bottom one, keeping your hips stacked over each other and lowering back down. All right, so you're raising this leg straight up, lowering down and repeating. Again, you want to keep your hips stacked over each other, making sure you're not rolling back over. And you're just coming straight up and straight down, repeating back and forth. And make sure everything's lined up over each other, you're not rolling back. Let's do three more. And final one. Very nice. Now let's switch sides. So now we're going to the other side. And same thing, you're on your side. Legs bent, your feet together. You're going to raise this top leg off the bottom one, lower it down and repeat. And yeah, make sure when you do this, your hips stay stacked. So that means you don't want to go like this and roll over, right? Or you don't want to be facing two much forward. So keeping it in a line here. So that way you just raise this leg up and down using this muscle right here. So if you start opening up, you won't be using that muscle to lift this, lift this leg up and down.
Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. All right, feel free to take off that band if you've been using one. We're going to a stretch next. So next up, you're going to bring, yeah, keep one leg bent, bring one leg up so that your ankle rests on top of that leg up near your knee. So then you have one leg bent, keep stayed on the floor, and then we're gonna bend up. So you know, show it this way, so it's at a slight angle, so it's up and over, ankle resting up near that knee, all right? You might feel stretched right away, just having this leg up here. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you're gonna grab behind your knee of the leg that's on the floor, and you gently pull it in towards your chest, all right? So you, again, you might feel a stretch when it's just rested on your leg, but if you want a deeper stretch, gently pull this leg in, and you'll feel a stretch in the leg that's up on the other leg. And again, you'll just hold it here. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that stretch. Now you'll switch sides. So now bring that opposite ankle so it's up over the leg that's on the floor. Again, you might feel a stretch right away doing this or grab behind that bent leg, gently pull it in towards your chest and you'll hold it. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that stretch. Very nice. Next up, keep your legs bent. You're on your back. Let's do a lower trunk rotation. So you have your legs together, knees bent. Arms can be kind of directly out to the side so that you're in that nice line. You're going to slowly drop your hips down to one side so your legs go onto the floor or the table or your bed, wherever you are. Raise them back up and swap sides, all right? So your hips and your low back will come off the floor. You wanna keep your upper body planted. And if you can't get your legs all the way down the floor, no worries, go as far as your range of motion lets you. You may not be able to get it all the way down. And you'll just nice and gently rock back and forth. You can add a slight pause to the bottom of the movement if you'd like to add a little more of a stretch in with this one. Change it those sideways. Let's do two more each side. And final one. Very nice. All right, while on your back, let's do a straight leg raise. So keep one leg straight, the other one will be bent. You don't have this toe pointed towards the ceiling. Have your arms by your side. Keep this leg straight, raise it up towards the height of the other leg and lower it back down, all right? If you can't get it all the way up to the height of the opposite leg, again, go as far as your range of motion lets you, coming up and down. And you can also have a pelvic tilt in this exercise as well. Engage the core and protect the back. And you're almost there. Let's do two more each side. Very nice. Now let's switch legs. Same thing, raise this leg straight up and repeat. Get out of that pelvic tilt, engage the core, protect that low back. 
And I want nice control movements. Don't swing this leg up and down, but control it as you move. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. All right, our last and final exercise of the day. will be one last stretch. So staying on your back with your knees bent. You're going to let your legs fall down towards the side, down towards the floor. And you let them rest in that position, all right? So again, knees bent. Let these legs fall down the side. If you'd like, you can add a gentle push to them. Let's see if they can go a little farther. Gentle, don't force it. A little gentle if you'd like to get a little bit deeper. And you'll hold it in that position for the remainder. Go for 30 seconds. And remember, breathe. Okay, your legs may not get all the way down the floor. Go as far as your range of motion lets you, and you can add that slight little push on it if you'd like a little more stretch. And five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that stretch. And that's it for the day. Thank you everybody for joining Strong and Balanced. Enjoy the rest of your day.